Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And in this video, we're going to do a real quick talk about what kind of Ethernet cable you could or should be using. I'm not going to tell you what you have to use, but I do want to talk about what is out there so you can make an informed decision. So the three types of cables that we're going to talk about, Cat5e, Cat6, and Cat6... A, right? So these are the three most common. Now, I know that you are probably wondering what about Cat 7 and Cat 8? Well, most home users aren't going to use those. Most of those are going to have a, a different use case than what we deal with in even uh, up to midsize, you know, companies. Um, so this has come up and I just want to run these these by you real quick. So Cat5e at this point is going to be your least expensive and you can get speeds up to one gigabit per second, but, and that, that's at hundred meters, 2.5 gig and five gigabit. So multi gigabit is possible on Cat5e. So a lot of companies aren't rerunning their cabling. They are changing their, their NICs and they are changing their switches to support those multi-gig speeds. They're getting more life out of that infrastructure. Now, Cat6, you're going to be able to get 10 gig over shorter distances, up to 55 meters. And Cat6a is going to give you 10 gig up to 100 meters. And there's a lot of science and a lot of physics uh, that go behind how all these speeds and things are possible. Um, one thing to note is one, uh, something in common for all of these is if you are running cable in the plenum space, so that plenum space is in the ceiling where you have, uh, basically airflow or air return, you have to use plenum rated cable and that's going to up your price no matter what. Now, if you need speeds faster than 10 gig, I would probably recommend looking at fiber. Uh, depending on depending on the rollout. So we see a lot of people that are doing Cat 7, Cat 8. There's questions about some of those standards and the viability. If you need to go past Cat 6A, my suggestion would be to look, look at possibly doing fiber if you can. But Cat 5E is going to be the least expensive, of course, unless it's it's needs to be plenum rated, but that is true with all of these. So cat 5e, cat 6, cat 6a, and you can go out and just do an Amazon search for the cable and see the pricing and the difference in the way the cables are structured, the speed that the data can flow over those, those cables. You will see those ratings. But this is a snapshot, kind of what we deal with the most besides fiber. So I would say we are dealing with these three cabling types the most outside of fiber. If you've got any questions about these, let me know down below. Cat5e is still absolutely in use. Cat6, Cat6a are still absolutely in use. We see very few, I would call them edge cases or corner cases at this point for who we deal with that have Cat7 and Cat8. We typically go from Cat6a to fiber. So if you've got any questions about these, let me know down below. What kind of cabling are you running? Did you go from 6A to fiber? Are you one of those people that are doing 7 or 8? Let me know down below what you're seeing, where you're at, and what your experience with this has been. Throw any tips for cabling in down there below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on the front page there, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and talk about your Ethernet cabling or your fiber. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.